Hello, my name is Kazaya, and today I'm going to show you how to use our new tech Replay Replay system. We use Replay for all of our field productions, whether it's to show sports replays, run breaks, or run the open. Let's start by learning how to import videos into Replay. The first thing you need to do is put all your videos on a flash drive, and then you can import them into Replay. Now select shut down and choose exit to windows. Once you in windows, go to file explorer and make a new folder on the desktop that will hold your videos. Then go to your flash drive and copy and paste the videos from the flash drive to the new folder you just made. Now that the videos are saved on the desktop, you can open 3Play, create a new project, and select Import Media. From here, find the videos you saved on the desktop and select all of them to be imported. Once the videos appear in the importing window, click on the transcode box for any videos that don't automatically select transcode. Now, Press the import button and you can open the project once everything is ready. Now that we are in replay, go to the playlist tab at the bottom of the screen and click on the first playlist. From here, select add media and it will take you to the media window where you can select browse and find your videos. Then you can import them into 3Play and they will appear in the playlist. Now all of our videos are ready and you can test them. These videos are running great, but if you see a red outline around any of your videos, it means 3Play has rejected it and you will have to find another video to use. Now that we have imported all of our videos in, let's learn how to use all the buttons on the control panel. The first thing we are going to go over is how to start and stop recording. To start recording, press the record button on the control panel. It should light up and you will see a new recording in the clip list. To stop recording, press and hold the shift button on the control panel and press the record button at the same time. The next thing we're going to go over is how to switch between our A and B channels, along with switching from the clip list, playlist, and live. To switch from channel A to channel B, all you have to do is press the A or B button on the control panel and you will be on that channel. To switch from the clip list, playlist, or live, all you have to do is press either of those buttons on the control panel. Now let's go over how to change camera angles. You can have up to four camera angles in 3Play and you will most likely use all four during a production. To switch camera angles, press and hold the angle button and select whatever number camera you want to have on A and on B. Another important thing to know about Replay 
is that you can still have a video playing on A and work on B without disrupting the video. A big example of this is during halftime at a basketball game. During halftime, you play a long group of videos on A, but generally you also need to make replays or work on B. So when a break is playing on A, you can always work on B. Now let's learn how to make a replay. There are a couple of different ways you can make a replay. You can do an in the moment replay or save replay for later. You have to be recording to make a replay and saved replays will appear in the clip list. To do an in the moment replay, use the wheel to go back before the action happened. Now, press the play button on the control panel and use the fader bar to slow down the replay when needed. This replay has not been saved, and not every replay needs to be. To save a replay for later, use the wheel to go back before the action, but this time press the set in button on the control panel. Now you can press the play button and when the replay is finished, press the set out button. When you save replays like this, even if you slow it down in the moment, that part will not save with the replay and you will have to use the fader bar again if you show the replay later. Now that we know how to make a replay, let's learn how to name them and add them to a playlist. In order to name your replay, go to the clip list and select the camera angle that you want to label. Then go to the space right underneath your camera angles and you can type in your text from there. To add replays to a playlist, you can either drag and drop your replays from the clip list to the playlist, or you can copy and paste your replays and organize them from there. Replay can be a lot of multitasking, but showing a good replay and being on top of things is definitely worth it. This was a new tech replay replay tutorial brought to you by a student of the Broadcasting and Video Productions program.